everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last run was probably the most impressive run I've ever done of Rebirth ever, including that first uh, lost win. At least that one, we had Mom's Knife, Triple Shot, Proptosis. On the last one, we had Ipecac, and that was pretty much it. Oh, you uh, you don't sandbag it, Northern Lion. You had Pyromaniac. I got freaking Pyromaniac on the, the dark room. I did get hit once, and I, I owe all of my thanks to Guppy's Collar. I will never shit talk that item again. But for now, why not just get the streak started anew? And yeah, maybe we'll random the lost at some point, and nobody's going to be a huge fan of that necessarily. But uh, we're looking for Meat Boy, and we're looking for the new items that we unlocked. I don't know if the mind is a new item. The body cannot live without the mind. That's my Lawrence Fishburne impression. CZ2W. CZ's too weak to use in uh, anti-eco rounds now. It's true. Um... Yeah, so we, we gotta find some items. There is the D100. There is the Godhead. Everyone always... Ooh, Northern Lion, you're gonna love the Godhead. Yo, don't do a best items in the game list, Northern Lion, until you get the Godhead. Well, I'm gonna try, alright? Maybe get off my freaking back, and then I may I'll get a job, Mom. I don't know what it does. I do know that I think it's found primarily in Angel Rooms. Which sucks. That is like the worst item to have to farm for then. Ooh. But maybe it can also show up in boss rush rooms. Also, I know that like a lot of those items... Oh, don't even do this to me, game. I would rather be the lost than have Butterbean on our first item room. But here we are. Oh, no. I don't think so. Please don't stand so close to me, Sting. What was I going to say? Oh, all those items, you know, the body, Godhead, I think, except for the D100, which is obviously just a, like an enormously uh, faced die. I think we should make a petition, by the way, to just start calling single die dice, single dies dices, you know what I mean? Because the, the only reason right now, and I've gone on this tangent before, but it annoys the shit out of me, the only reason for them to have two different names right now is so that when you say, hey, can you pass me that dice, please, some smug asshole goes, actually, there's only one of them, so it's called a die. And you're like, well, it's only called a die because you're being kind of a shithead about it right now. If you just call it a dice, then we'd all be happy. We could have a conversation about something meaningful instead of arguing over some fucking, you know, dead language origin bullshit that nobody cares about. Except you, apparently, because it's the only way you derive value out of your life. Why don't you freaking, you know, give me some uh, give me some of that dice action right now and I'll show you uh, who knows how to roll, motherfucker. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Those items, uh, they're all shaped like the like a triangle, I believe. So I'm probably, my hunch is that I'm going to find it somewhat difficult to know what item is which, at least right off the bat. People, by the way, have tried to tell me that Butterbean has some uses. People have tried to tell me, you know, Butterbean... <laughs> they they kind of John Madden it a lot, though. They're, the thing about Butterbean is when a spider gets close to you, you can press the button and it pushes them away. And I'm like, yeah, that's the literal like description of what the item does. It sucks, the big one, though. That's okay, though. You know, we're Kane. Look who we got our canes on now and all that. I know that there is uh, I think there was a tinted rock. I'm just going to choose to ignore it because I'm kind of a cocky asshole right now or something. Um... And uh, there was a, like a, probably Isaac's room. I would very much like to access Isaac's room. Butterbean really doing good work against uh, Larry Jr. here. See, what happens is the Butterbean gets close, or the, the Larry Jr. gets close, and then you pop Butterbean, and he turns away for a split second, thereby giving you almost ample enough time to, uh, you know, have a single action potential fire in your neurons and uh, allow you to maybe with 1% uh, reliability, get the hell out of the way. Butterbean. Butterbean. Apparently, Torn Photo is one of the best DPS upgrades in the game, and I've just been crapping on it. I, whenever I'm Isaac and I get it, and I have the opportunity to reroll, I'm like, oh, Torn Photo is not that good. Apparently, Torn Photo is that good, actually. So I'm not worried about maintaining our one streak right now. If we die as Kane, you know, shit happens. But I don't think it's going to happen. We've gotten ourselves out of deeper buckets of syrup than this one. Uh, I'm assuming that the main reason it's such a good DPS upgrade is because you can't call it a damage upgrade. Because it's not a damage upgrade, but it's rather a tiers upgrade. Which means that it probably gives you really good tiers. Which is fairly solid. Uh, Sagittarius also 
One of my favorite items in the game, not to say that it's one of the best items in the game. I'm gonna try to sneak in here, maybe buy a spear at heart. So we can get, well, I don't even really want to deal with the devil though, do I? Because if I get a deal with the devil, we won't be able to get deals with the angels. So maybe we'll, I mean, I guess we want a deal with the devil, so then we can say, no deal with the devil. I don't want your item, even if it is mom's knife or something like that. And then we'll get a deal with the angel on the next opportunity and maybe have a small chance to get Godhead. I don't know. It's just my hunch. She's got someone else in mind. Do we have anything here? No. Secret rooms should not be uh, too tricky to find on this floor. This is one of the few floors where I enjoy looking for secret rooms because they're, uh, you know, there's only like two different possible locations for them and we already found one of them. We probably didn't need to use a key to actually access our item room, but that's okay. We'll go to our curse room after this whole thing is uh, said and done. Because I don't want to lose our spirit heart before fighting what could be the haunt. Although the haunt, I think it's been pretty lenient with showing up lately. It hasn't shown up all that often. Uh, and you know what? Piercing shots... We'll probably do that. Uh, piercing shots actually pretty sweet against the haunt. There is a tinted rock up there. You might be saying, well, I don't see how it would make much of a difference. But it's, it's nice because the piercing shots... Let's do it. The piercing shots make it so that... Um, the little ghosts... Which, by the way, my favorite Dan Aykroyd children's movie from the 90s, Little Ghost. Uh, but it makes it so the little ghosts uh, don't actually get knocked around as much. And as a result, they just kind of like take the bullets on the chin and then keep coming at you in a straight line where you can hit them multiple times in a row very easily. But we're against Pin. Pin is also uh, not a very formidable foe for us with piercing shots because of the multiple body segments. I know they're called penetrative shots now. If you want... Uh, to know more about penetrative shots, just type it into google.com with safe search off. That's more keys and also a spirit heart, which is nice. Deal with the devil. Uh, has items. Look, I would absolutely love to pick up Death's Touch here, but I'm going to try for deals with the angel. That might aggravate you. If it does, I apologize, but I got to try to farm up these items. I also need to uh, get the fourth level Meat Boy, and apparently the trick with Monster Manuel and like Sharp Plug. Uh, let's see what we got here. Eh, maybe worth it. Uh, apparently the trick with Monster Manuel and Sharp Plug doesn't work anymore. Apparently the way that it used to work is that Sharp Plug, of course, gives you... Well, it takes away little HP to give you a full charge of your item. If you did that with Monster Manuel, you could get a fourth level Meat Boy. It would take a while, <clears throat> but you could do it. Now apparently it does not give you a cube of meat anymore, meaning that you can't scum it anymore. You've pretty much just got to get your Book of Revelations uh, early. Now if that's misinformation, I apologize, but I don't think it is. I think it was in the most recent patch, but they keep releasing. I liked it better when they, I mean, actually, thats I shouldn't say that. It sounds very ungrateful, but I liked it better. I'm just going to keep saying it anyway. When they released, like, a patch every two weeks because it didn't make my backlog so apparent. Now people are like, oh, my God, Northern Lion's, like, four versions behind. Well, it's not my fault. You know, I got to keep a backlog. Kate and I are going away for a little while, and I'd like to keep uh, the videos coming. Plus, I, I'm just so addicted to this goddamn game that I play it, like, 12 hours a day. I might as well be playing it. Ooh. Well, uh, or might as well be recording it while I'm playing it. But the patch notes, they're they are causing me to not be a Dana Carvey-esque master of disguise anymore. Not that it, I don't know, I don't think it really matters if there's a backlog going on. It's not like there's been major, major mechanics changes that have happened recently. There is a Tinted Rock, of course. I'm hoping that we'll be able to take advantage of the services of that Tinted Rock. But as of right now, we have zero bombs. It's okay, because we do have a Spirit Heart backing us up. Plus, we have our secret weapon here, Butterbean. Probably, like, the best space bar item in the game. So good that I'm going to just nerf myself by replacing it for with uh, Telepathy for Dummies. An item that is absolutely shit. Tomo, you gotta... One second here. Move the coffee, because I don't trust you. Get in the... You always jump up on the desk, Tomo, and then you when you're up on the desk, you're like, Whoa, I've never been this high before. You're that high every day. Get in the freaking window, you ding-dong. What are you doing? He's looking at me like, yo, dad, you're blowing my cover right now. Are you fine there? What's your problem? I swear to God, if you hit the stop recording hotkey, I'm going to be the angriest cat owner since Giovanni from the Pokemon series. I don't know. It's the best I could do on short notice. There he goes. He decided he didn't want to invoke the rage of the earth type gym leader. Ground type? Maybe ground type gym leader. It's been a while. Bad trip. I'm not stoked about that. My stoke is at zero. So here's what I'm thinking. I hate this room. It's not that bad, but I, I do quite often seem to take damage on it. Um, my thinking is that it's probably in our best interest to maybe 
shoot those flies. Oh. I still want to be able to do boss rush just because that does give us a, a decent chance. Oh my god, there's a black heart up there. I don't even need to execute my other plan. Uh, my thinking was I would play this, get a bomb, blow up that tinted rock, and then get a spirit heart to carry me, but this is fine too. Um, I want to do boss rush because there's a decent chance that on boss rush we end up uh, having a chance to pick up Godhead, I think, or maybe D100, or any item that we're missing. Basically, just gives us another pedestal to make it happen. And if we don't find it, and we don't want any of the items on there, we can just leave. But I know, by this point, people are probably like, Shut the f fudge up about Boss Rush. And you know what? I will, alright? You know my, th my thoughts on Boss Rush are well articulated. Well, not well articulated, but I have said them a lot. There's a subtle difference there. Um, why am I so slow? Oh, because somebody sent me a message on Skype. People are like, hey, if you put Skype in Do Not Disturb, it doesn't do that anymore. Here's your fucking, your comeuppance, motherfuckers. You are incorrect. I think it's it's not something to do with Rebirth. Well, it is something to do with Rebirth, but it's something to do with my, um, video card. Having a little bit of an issue. It's not that the video card is bad. The video card is actually quite good. As I understand it, I, video card was, like, highly prized for like Bitcoin miners or something like that. It became like the number one card for Bitcoin mining because of the way that it handled some process or something like that. So when Bitcoins, not that they're not still an extremely important thing, but people who were getting like way into Bitcoins when it suddenly shot up in like 2013 were start, starting to send me messages. They're like, yo dog, I heard you had a HD Radeon 7950. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. I'm like, motherfucker, you're trying to become a millionaire on the back of this video card that you can't find and you're willing to offer me 100 American dollars. I paid, in 2012, I paid like $600 for this video card as a business expense to, to get my YouTube channel off the ground. That was a very bad idea. Not buying the video card, but picking up that eternal heart. You gotta, you gotta take some, you know, you gotta spend money to make money. Not to mention, you're gonna like, I'll give you a hundred dollars for your HD7950. That's like, I gotta go out, buy another video card, and then install it, take a couple of days off of recording to get it done. And they're like, that's a pretty generous offer. You wouldn't get that if you sold it on Craigslist. And I'm like, Jesus, man. Okay, Tomo, you gotta go, man. You gotta get in the window. This is getting a little out of control here. I like how over the course of the streak, there was like almost no videos where the cats aggravated me. And now they're just doubling down on it. It might have been 300 bucks, I can't remember. And I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad about that offer, I'm actually just trying to tell a story that I thought was funny, that they're like, Oh yeah, dude, I'm gonna become like a Bitcoin millionaire. I'll give you 300 bucks for your video card. Like, you need this! You need this. You gotta, you know, I got something you want, you gotta offer a better deal. Not to mention, oh, that is not a good way to handle this room. Not to mention, you have to know your customer, right? Or know the person you're buying from. Yes, I will take this. Piercing tears are now worthless for us, but that's okay. We got like a sweet little spaceship. Brrm, brrm. I'm gonna buy the spirit heart as much as I would love to get mom's key. Uh, I think it's better for us to have the best chance possible to get a deal because I really want to get those items. Like, that's the whole reason we're still here. Plus, I thought maybe we'd get enough money here to make it worthwhile. This has been a slow floor, but that's not necessarily the end of the world. Ludo, uh,. Could allow us to start going pretty dang quickly. Telepathy for dummies I don't think is going to work out so well for us with this item. But telepathy for dummies sucks anyway, so I'm not sure why I'm so worried about upside with it. Dark one. Oh, this is an XL floor. Okay. Probably should have known that when I went to both item rooms. <laughs> but uh, that's alright. I, I now remember that. Please stand still for like two gosh dang seconds. Hopefully you're the hardest boss that we face here. Remember, don't get directly below him. That's the only time that life becomes scary is when you're directly below the dark one. Alright, you're gonna die fairly easily. And your item for me is coin purse. We had some, we had like a range upgrade. Pheromones. Are you a wizard? Doesn't matter, I guess. Lemon party. Range downgrade. Well, we're gonna just step in here and pop. Oh, I didn't even bring Lemon Party with me. It doesn't really matter because this boss is so easy. Let's pop Telepathy for Dummies and see what it does. Absolutely nothing. It makes our, our ship purple. We got another deal with the devil? Where's my deal with the angel, though? 
I mean, I don't really want to take this deal because it, it's kind of bad. So I think I'll just leave. We're going to be taking the sun card with us. Let's go down to the next floor because boss rush may indeed be our best chance. This is actually uh, one of the runs that I think has the worst chance possible for a win right now. I love Ludo. Uh, our HP is not terrible. Our items haven't been awful. I mean, our spacebar items have been genuinely some of the worst that we've had recently. But um, uh, the the actual uh, like boss room items haven't been god awful, except actually the coin purse was was pretty shit. But that's all right. But mostly, again, I'm just trying to farm up those items here. Game's not giving me too much in the way of uh, leniency there. This is why, if, if there's one thing that I want in an expansion, well, okay, that's not true. If there's one thing that I want in an expansion, it's it's more items, you know. It, that's pretty much it, more items. Uh, if I could only choose one thing. Another thing that I would want is more of a, a reason to go to the dark room instead of the chest, because really, the chest is superior because it gives you items, which makes it not only easier, but also more fun. You really gotta, like, have some s discipline if you want to go to the, the dark room, because it's the... You, I mean, it's the inferior way to go, for a number of reasons. I think, in my opinion, at least. Another thing I would love, though, is something that makes deals with the angel... What, what floor are we on? Depths one, okay. Um, it's something that makes deals with the angel, like, a little bit more worthwhile because as it is right now it's kind of the same thing like the only reason you would ever get deals with the angel is because you need to get an item or like the one in 20 chance that your first deals with the devil like are so bad that you can't take them without dying because most of the time you still want to take a shit deal with the devil to ensure that you don't get deals with the angel in the future at least that's the way i play the game I, i'm not saying the game should necessarily be tailored to to the way that i play it but i think that a lot of people take that strategy you know i, I watch other isaac content creators and they seem to be doing similar things i would like to see a way that makes deals with the angel more viable maybe by not making deals with the devil the default this is just spitballing here but what if instead of being a guaranteed deal with the devil after the first floor first uh, the first uh series of floors, I should say, like Basement 2 or Cellar 2. What if instead of being a guaranteed deal with the Devil, it was a 50-50 chance between a deal with the Devil or a deal with the Angel? We have Curse of the Blind, which is just straight up a horse hockey here. Celtic Cross, though. At least we got deal with the Angel precedent. That way, if you wanted to get a deal with the Devil, instead of just getting one by default and then having to make, like, a, you, having to make a sacrifice in order to get a deal with the Angel later on in the game, by not taking the item in the deal with the Devil room, even if it's amazing, um, what if instead of that, you know, you had to, if you got one first and you wanted to have the other, then you had to make a sacrifice by not taking the item. I would do a lot more deals with the angel if I got a deal with the angel as my first special deal and had to actively choose not to take that item in order to get deals with the angel in the future. And it's not like deals with the angel are better, that's the thing. You sacrifice like a deal with the devil opportunity, sometimes a great one, to get a deal with the angel. And then the deal with the angel rooms are often like, here's one eternal heart or like, here's three spirit hearts. Deal with the Devil rooms are often like that as well, but there's a lot more high damage items as well. I don't know. Or maybe, you know, make Deal with the Devil a greater reward. It, it, this is getting a little, like, to the point where if this actually happened, I think the game would maybe become a little bit too hard, but it's hard to say. But what if, if you had a Spirit Heart, and you earned a deal, it was automatically a deal with the Angel, because you did it the easy way. Whereas if you only had Red Hearts... You know, you did it the hard way, you should get a deal with the devil or something. I don't know, that's... I, I kind of like the idea of a 50-50 chance just making it so like, oh, this is an angel seed or this is a devil seed. And if you want to change it so it goes the other way, you have to uh, sacrifice that first room. Because right now, deals with the devil being the default... I don't know, I mean, I, I like it. It's clearly this is a strategy that's worked out very well for me, as I've shown over that streak that went for like 25. However... I would like to have the opportunity to go to more deals with the angel. Sadly, that doesn't really come up all that often. So, we are, we're are we a little too slow to, to do boss rush. As much as I would love to do boss rush, and you know that I would. We can use the sun card. This is feeling very much like a vanilla run right now, but we could use the sun card. And, uh... Oh, that was not very smart. In using the sun card, that would allow us to get to our boss room quickly. Like, we could skip our item room on this floor. The problem is, would we even be able to beat Boss Rush if we went to it right now? Our run's feeling pretty impotent. We'll see. I think I'm just going to try to play this one normally, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll hedge our bets. Not on Boss Rush this time, but on deals with the Angel. 
you know, it's standard advice, boss rush is not for every run. It's for, you could do boss rush on a lot of runs. We could almost do it on this run. And I think most people would probably consider this run fairly underpowered. Spacebar items have been shitty. Yes, we have Ludovico Technique. Ludovico Technique is good. In my opinion, at least. But it is a bit of a uh, personal taste thing. I'd, I would love to go to the curse room. Unfortunately, we just can't quite justify it with our amount of HP right now. That would be a very stupid way to lose this run. But I've, I've lost runs in stupider ways, if not recently. Okay. Plenty of pills. None of them have been superb for us thus far. Le eh, that's not true. Lemon Party's pretty great. I'm just going to ignore it for now. So, we, I, don't, I really don't think we need too much to eke out a victory here. One of the things that would help out a lot is a good deal with the Angel item. If we could get, like, Sacred Heart or something like that. Another thing that would help out... I, I'm, I'm actually very tempted to just use the Sun card right now. I hate to do it, but I would rather do that than die right now. Spider Baby, that's a good item. Greed, probably. No? Nine Volt, uh, good, but our spacebar item sucks. Humbling Bundle, fantastic item. We'll pick up our Spirit Heart. Sucks that we lost the Sun card. Shit happens, though, huh? 18 minutes. Yeah, Boss Rush is now off the table. Shouldn't have bought that Spirit Heart yet, because I do want to go to the Curse Room. And, well, never mind, there it goes. <laughs> And we're really suffering from your classic, you know, Isaac issue right now. We just don't have enough damage. We, we're not going to find anything there. Um, yeah, we, we, we're just lacking damage. Shit happens sometimes. This shouldn't give us a devil precedent. Pentagram. I love it. Okay, so that's extra damage. Pentagram isn't enough to win the game by itself, but it's enough to have me feeling a little bit more confident as we kind of make our way, you know? There's more red hearts. I'm not going to worry too much about playing the blood bank anymore. It's not going to be HP that's going to sink us on this run if we sink. It's going to be uh it's well it's going to be our lack of damage and maybe lack of shot speed. Nah, the shot speed is actually to to be fair. I don't I don't want to you know act like there's problems with this run that don't exist. Our shot speed is actually pretty good for Ludovico technique. I've seen shot speed worse than this. We have in there one bomb and two keys. A little, little too rich for my blood. Let's head down to the next floor. And again, it's kind of in a way freeing to only or mostly just have to worry about survival. We got nothing to worry about when it comes to our boss rush. Unless we get to our boss in one minute, which is not going to happen. Our damage was low enough that I, I can really notice the, the bonus from Pentagram. It's, it's fairly nice. Not quite killing flies in one tick, but not, not much more than that. Uh... And our spiders are actually, like, that was the best floor we've had in terms of our items. We picked up Celtic Cross, which is fine. We picked up Humbling Bundle. We picked up 9 Volt. Now, if we could just get a better spacebar item, that would be a big help. Uh, and Spider Baby is good. And Pentagram for free is great. If we could just string together maybe one or two more floors like that, although we're kind of running out of opportunities for that, then I would, I would think that we have a genuine chance for victory here. But as of right now, this is kind of... I, I don't want to say that it's harder than any run that we had over the course of the streak, except for those lost runs, because we... Ooh, careful. Um, because we passed up on our deals with the devil. If I was playing this run for real, not to say, oh, if I could have won this one, if, this run if I wanted to, if I just wasn't trying. No, but uh, we would have probably taken Death's Touch in those uh, first, or that first deal with the devil area. And you might be saying, well, why would you take Death's Touch if you already had piercing shots? And damage is the name of the game, man. It would have given us extra damage. We will probably take advantage of that. And uh, extra damage, like, I, I take Death's Touch all the time. Yeah, we don't really need that lucky rock. That would reroll our whole run. I don't love it, actually. I kind of, mmm. But it might give us Godhead. Let's give it a try. All right, what do we have going on now? We got Monstro's Lung. Uh, shielded Tears, a little bit more HP. On the surface, it kind of seems better. I think we have the Miter as well. Let's, let's check our screen quickly. See what stuff we didn't have. That's either Mom's Contact or Mom's Eye, which is not that effective. Mini Mush. I think there's little Chad in there. Daddy Long Legs. That might be Mr. Mega and Bob's Curse. Steven. The Miter. I don't know what that item next to Miter is. That might be like uh, Mom's Perfume. Monstro's Lung, Piggy Bank, Maggie's Bow, Cricket's Body? Cricket's Body and is that Infestation 2? Uh, that's Spider Baby, I think. 
There, I, there is some Cricket's body action happening here. All right. Now our range sucks, and our our tears are god awful. Like the the uh, amount of time it takes to charge up a shot is absurd. We didn't reroll into Godhead either, but that, it's okay. I think this this might be a little bit better. It's certainly weirder. Bombs seem pretty good. Certainly, like, any enemy that, that comes into our face, we can take out pretty quickly. All right, let's... We have to be a little cautious here because I, I really will take damage on some of these rooms. I'm going to play once more. That's it for now. All right, we'll come back with more Red Hearts later. Hmm. Damage does seem to be lacking a little bit. I love Monstro's Lung, though. The world. We'll pop that, be able to see where we're going at least. I don't know about this run. I, I uh, ignored a lot of the reroll rooms. Because in general, you would expect that reroll rooms are going to be worse than average. And what's my what's my logic behind that? Well, y you have a choice in some of the items that you pick up in uh, when you create your run. You know, you choose what deal, deal with the devil items you get. You choose what items not to pick up. There's, you know, you you would not pick up soy milk maybe if you were concerned about that item or tiny planet or something like that. Whereas with the reroll, you throw all that out the window. But I, I think it's fun. I also I love the miter here. Uh, I think it's fun, and I also think that it's kind of uh, if, if you're having a bad run, it can be a big help. Spider bite is not necessarily what I was looking for, but it's hard to look down on it. It's a good tier effect. Uh, Pandora's box will use that should give us two boss items. I I will never get Pandora's box effect right. I didn't mean to buy that. Uh, except on the cathedral, where it gives you one angel item. All right, that was actually pretty good. We're still hoping for Godhead, so if we could avoid taking red heart damage, that would be for the best. Got enough spirit hearts that I feel a little bit more comfortable about playing this demon judgment again. And he pays out with contract from below right away, which is nice because we actually had to get rid of uh, our uh, da -da -da humbling bundle. Yeah, we'll open this. So in getting rid of humbling, oh, in getting rid of humbling bundle, we lost out on something, but we ended up picking up a nearly equivalent item, similar effect at the very least. What do we need to stack up here? Uh, it seems like range would be like really worthwhile. It seems like tears would be nice, although actually now that I look at it, the charge time is not as bad as I had originally thought. Okay. That's that's decent, at least. Demon judgment in here? No, nope, just a standard old blood bank. We do have a devil card, so we can you know enjoy that at least. I guess we'll play until we get to 99 cents, which is right now, and I'll, I'll save some of my HP for later. Because I'm again, I expect to probably run out of HP, uh, or to to get hit at least as we make our way here. Oh, tinted rock right there. It is a live bomb. We're right up in an enemy's face. I'm, I'm actually like I'm, I'm a little disappointed not with the reroll because the the reroll is bad but with specifically Cricket's body which I normally consider like one of the not game winning items but one of the coolest synergies and as of right now is just kind of like ho oh, hum you know not really doing anything. I, I should have been hit there but maybe I was just fast enough to get out of the way. Okay we really gotta like because our damage is not very good Whenever possible, we gotta sneak in there and, and like really hit him where it hurts. Like we gotta get up in that ass. Like that, maybe. Oh, escape. Escape. One full monstro's lung shot and not being enough to kill those guys is is very not encouraging. Discouraging might be a word that I would use. Does Daddy Long Legs ever step on mom's foot? Because that seems to be like the only way that I'm ever gonna get any extra damage done here. We could try using some bombs as well, but with only 15, I don't really want to waste them. We might end up needing them for some later boss fights. We haven't been hit though. I'll, I'll, I'll take some Solace in that. Kinda missing Ludo. Coming down. Coming down. You coming down? Like, we can't even knock that dude into the ooze state with two shots. That's embarrassing. Oh, that shot should have hit. Come on. You know it to be true. That was not very smart on my behalf there. But we've broken even HP-wise. Just give me a deal with the devil after this. Don't give me a deal with the angel. Or, sorry, give me a deal with the 
the angel. But if they do give me a deal with the devil, I think I, I gotta try to, you know, take this run to the point where it can actually win, so... I would be very open to taking some of those deal with the devil items. This has always been, um, my least favorite part of... Uh, there is a deal with the devil. I was hoping to not have to actually test it there. Um, let's see what we get here. Well, it's not gonna ruin my deal with the angel precedent if I still have it, but... It's always been my favorite part of, uh... Or my least favorite part of the Isaac games is trying to farm for these items in kind of inopportune situations. But, hey, I didn't expect to get any new items on the, the first play. That's alrighty. We'll just keep going here. And this, this floor will be uh, a big one. Largely just for our chances of success. If we're able to, you know, pick up a, a deal with the devil or a deal with the angel and get a half-decent item, that would mean a lot. Otherwise... You know, a deal with the angel to give us one of the new items that we unlocked would be beautiful as well. Otherwise, um, this is going to go down as my uh, lost... Well, not lost. That's a bad word to use in this situation because it's a real character. But this is going to go down as a, a wasted run to some extent, unless I can win. Which, I, I've taken pride in the the fact that I've won some relatively inopportune runs. Are you, are you fucking with my butt here? There you, just Thank you. And the, the truth be told, this run is not awful... But it's not great. Like, the best item we have is Daddy Long Legs, which is a good item. It's just not, you know, the item you want to be relying on necessarily. I don't know how our damage is so bad. With Monstro's Lung and Cricket's Body and Steven, I would have expected we'd be doing, like, a little bit more than this. But shit happens. In hindsight, should have stuck with Ludo. And the other kind of things that we had working out for us. We still have not had a good spacebar item on this whole run. Rusted key? I mean, missing page two is not very good, so... Uh, okay, there we go. Rusted key, I feel better now that we're taking Guppy's tail as well. That doesn't seem like that's gonna be that meaningful for us. Counterfeit penny. Guppy's tail, um... The Guppy items don't reroll. This should be a library, which is actually great. I shouldn't be as nervous about... I was gonna say I shouldn't be as nervous about these guys, because with Shielded Tears, their bullets should get hit. But the problem is, their bullets get hit and they block a lot of my bullets as well, despite the fact that I shoot out like... 80 every time I see them. Uh, Book of Shadows, I mean, it's best. Oh, the Yara Rune is really good too, so we should take Book of Shadows. Pop the Joker card. We get the Bible. That sucks, like really bad. We'll take our Yara rune with us. Uh, tinted rocks. Don't see any, despite there being five like possible tinted rocks. And there we go. There goes our eternal heart. So I would say this run is in uh, it's in lost territory. I don't want to blame the game. There was the possibility for a win here. Do we have the wafer, or do, is that just the way the the intervals worked for us there? There's a chance that we could become Guppy. Apart from that. I don't know, I mean, the, the go in a standard, you know, Isaac uh, explanation of how we win. A, don't get hit, B, make it to the chest and get carried with some high damage items, but... I, I don't love our chances of, of either of those, really. But the, the Jera rune does help out a lot, sorry, the Yera rune. But, oh man, without any orbitals, this hurts as well, because I would very much like to... Uh, just pop Book of Shadows and then, like, get up in his butt, basically. I'm just gonna wait. Like, I'm not even gonna use Book of Shadows here. Because he should be easy enough to not get hit by. I'd rather use it on just, like, a random room. I know I've already been hit on this room. And we've gotta use Book of Shadows at some point, otherwise what's the point of picking it freaking up? And I know there's a battery out there, but now I'm just too lazy to backtrack. Um, but Daddy Long Legs, plus, like, the fact that all of his damage centers are concentrated in, like, a pretty small area, and my shots are concentrated in a pretty small area, his HP is not great. Yeah, means he's relatively easy to take out. Now, that is not the haul that I was looking for here, but that range upgrade might help us out ever so slightly. I don't know why it somehow seems worse now, but we'll head down to the next floor. All we have to do is live through the cathedral now. I, I'm gonna do it. Let's we'll reroll everything again if we can. Mmm, just a donation machine. Not worth two keys, considering we do need eight keys if we're gonna make the, the Yara rune uh, work as maximally effectively as possible on the chest. We gotta be... Like, the cathedral's gonna tear us up. Normally, I don't think the cathedral's that hard. 
Oh, that's nice. But in our current situation, it is. Because, like, instead of regular, like, vaginal bombs or vaginal uh, silkworms, we're going to have the bomb ones, which are going to be much harder to kill. They're going to explode right in my face, and... i got to, like, maintain some focus here. I can't blame the game for this one, though, because I think if we had just stuck it out and not rerolled everything, we would have been fine. And I could easily be like, oh, well, the only reason we rerolled is to give the people a show, but that's not really true. I rerolled because I was like, this is not the kind of damage that I find acceptable, yada yada. And uh, in actuality, that might end up being the most pivotal decision here. I can't believe that these guys continue to live. Uh, I've had them like one hit away from death forever. This is this is your classic, just not enough damage Isaac run. Even with that reroll. <clears throat> What saves us now? Well, the most likely scenario is just the the Yara rune, honestly. The second most likely scenario is like a Joker card. No, the second most likely scenario is uh Oh fuck this room. Is uh becoming guppy, which is a beyond theoretical possibility. We have one guppy item. I'm a little bit perturbed by the fact that we have not gotten any golden chests. For once, we have so many keys, and yet golden chests just choose not to show up. Maybe that's the other way, is that we get golden chests. Maybe we can pick up, like, a Tammy's head. Nah, Tammy's head, like... I can't imagine that being better than Book of Shadows. It might be, though. So this is riveting. I'm having a great time right now. We do have the miter. I mean, that's that's beautiful. The miter by itself is not a game winner, but it's you know it's like French fries don't make a meal, but they're a hell of a side. You know, that's that's how I feel about the miter. Please, Daddy Longlegs, work with me. Help me help you. I want to consider you a top tier item, but you need to you need to go a little faster. Dang, baby, I can't. Yeah, you know. Also, in Slow Jams by Twista featuring Kanye West and Jamie Foxx. Kanye West doesn't say dang, baby. He says damn, but I don't want to offend my, um, you know, the sensibilities of my uh, my younger audiences. Normally, we try to keep a pretty kid-friendly show over here. And by we, I mean me and my multiple personalities. All right. If you could just, like, Daddy Longlegs, if you could just always go for the enemy with more HP, that would make your AI, like, a hundred times better. I appreciate your attempts. Also, if you could maybe do it when they're stationary. That's a start. Thank you. Please tell me we find our boss room soon. Now, this is one of the few rooms that gives us a little bit of hope. We could get a tarot card. Tarot cards can be very meaningful. Ah, a golden chest with a playing card in it. That's exactly what we would have wanted. Maybe we'll get a second one right here. Daddy Longlegs is, is still carrying me in spite of the... Insecurities I have associated with it. The Fool, not really worth much. Two of Clubs, it's actually kind of worth a lot. That Two of Clubs card is pretty meaningful because I'm imagining that I'm going to have to use a lot of bombs on some of these enemies. Daddy Long is... DDL, why do you always go for the ones that I've already hit? Alright, I'm going to move you as far away as possible. Let Daddy Longlegs do a little crush on you there. Okay. That's alright, I can wait. wait for another one. Thank you. I know what you were thinking. He can't wait for another one. Oh, we have homing bombs. That's what that other bomb was in there. So those are... That's a secret weapon for us. You know, those are some pretty solid bombs. I I don't know how to use bombs effectively against Mom's Heart anymore, necessarily. But, um... You know, Isaac's a bit more of a stationary boss. That might be... Easier to, to do that. Might not necessarily have been the ideal... Ooh, excellent. Might not have been uh, the ideal room to use uh, the Book of Shadows on if our boss room's right there, which it is, of course, but... Oh, well. Might have saved me a little bit of damage. You don't know that. Take this opportunity while I'm waiting for Daddy Longlegs to do his dirty work uh, to see if there were tinted rocks on this room, and I do not think that there are. I know there's going to be some people out there that are going, Why are you giving shit to Daddy Longlegs? You should be giving shit to Monstro's Lung. Never. I like Monstro's Lung. I think it's a great item. 
it, there are times when it will ruin your run. Is this one of those times? I mean, it's not Daddy Long Legs that's ruined our run here. I don't even know what's ruined our run here. Just re-rolling into basically no damage hasn't helped, I'll tell you that much. Alright, throw some bombs in there. They home from a relatively good distance. We can speed up the fight a little bit at least. We're halfway through. It's not so bad. It's conceivable that we could beat uh, that we could beat the chest like this. Or they, well, let's start small. It's conceivable that we could beat the cathedral like this. We should just like use our shielded tears as like a shield. Well, that, you know, when you put it that way, it makes me sound like an idiot. Um, but uh, and then use our uh, our bombs as like our actual tears. All we have to do is live through the cathedral. There's a number of different ways that we can, you know, make that more likely to happen. How are you not homing? Like, that's just straight up horse hockey right there. Almost done. Almost done. This is what worries me a little bit, but actually this is nice because we can afford to get a little closer in range. That was not easy. But we are at full HP and we're going up to the cathedral, which is a little bit better than I expected out of this run. But hey, here we are. Lucky us, I guess. Curse of Darkness doesn't really mean that much. I don't mind fighting war. Thank God we didn't actually do boss rush. That would have been heinous. I don't like these long runs. <clears throat> but we don't have too much choice in the matter, do we? Where is our slow coming from, by the way? Oh, we have a spider bite, right. Durr. Good, 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 good. Daddy long legs, low HP. This is like my ideal room type now, is enemies with low HP. Don't really give a shit about their damage dealing potential, although I would prefer that that be low as well, but, you know, you can't always get what you want. Takes so freaking long to charge up. Oh, that was not good damage. Takes so long to charge up this monster as lung shot. I can't believe I picked up Guppy's tail, and yet still... Oh, that's Maggie's bow. That's why we're unable to stay at a half-heart interval, which is fine. You know, permanent Polaroid invincibility is not going to save us on this run. We're either in a position where we're doing well enough to win, or we're not. Permanent Polaroid invincibility, I think, is a little bit less integral to a run than it was in vanilla. Although, I find myself somewhat unable right now to quantify the reasons why. Again, let's use Book of Shadows a little bit more often. I'm not being very good about that. We could get whittled down. This seems like an okay room to use Book of Shadows on. Not because the enemies are particularly difficult, but because the rooms are, uh, or the room is particularly long and there's a lot of enemies on it. Could easily cause me a little bit of trouble. I appreciate that spirit heart. Where's my golden chest though? I must admit, I'm a little surprised by the lack of golden chests. One of these has to be dead. I can't believe I didn't blow up that bomb fly. There we go. You also found the secret room for me. That was Daddy Longleg's greatest hits right there. And we got more than enough keys to make our Yara rune work. All right, there's there's high hopes here. I was better to accept that it's a botched bomb than take damage from your own bomb. Trying to sneak it in there. We really... I mean, with eight items, we... Oh, my God. That could be, like, more Yara runes. Awas. Awas. These are passage runes, which should actually do nothing for us, but occasionally might find a black market. I don't know if there's anything better to do with those runes. I mean, it seems like they have no effect. I'm assuming that they would have an effect if they were going to find the black market on that particular roll. I might be mistaken, though. This is good. Another tarot card here. Maybe two because of uh, contract from below. Oh, that was nearly a little risky. Oh, no! I was done with that room. I, I still want to go back and fight it, but I'm going to choose not to. Uh, that, I would reroll this whole run for sure. It's a five. Five is for Gammy now. That's not, that's not going to happen. I'm not doing this floor again. Just pick up that spirit heart. And I'll pick up this spirit heart too. And I don't see any tinted rocks in here. That doesn't mean there are no tinted rocks. I could be fairly easily mistaken. Alright. This is good. Keep them, keep them uh, silly here. Keep them slowed. Drop in some 
poisonous bombs. Oh yeah, he, he leaped right over that one. That makes a lot of sense. 21 bombs still. Nothing to sneeze at there. This has been a very easy Monster 2 fight. Most Monster 2 fights are, but he hasn't done his leaping attack at all. We got him perfectly baited here. I did not expect that second one to work. Alrighty then. Good job. We've got Book of Shadows ready. Use Book of Shadows right now. Because this is the harder part of the um, Isaac fight. When he is actually shooting bullets at you. We're not doing the kind of damage that I would love to see. And our invincibility is almost over. Prepare yourselves. This is going to be a long one. Yep. He's already through the first of two phases of this part, though. That was not good damage on my part. Can we live through this? If we live through this, our chances of actually winning this run are existent. Not necessarily great, but existent. Whoa, 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 okay. Uh, I thought I, I had to dodge that um, angel fetus. In my opinion, I had to dodge it. Probably could have gotten away with not doing it. Oh, it is homing. You're my hero. Okay, we want to go top right. Now, I don't want to get too cocky, but we might actually be able to even get out of this with a decent amount of HP. Get in there. Oh, well, that, was, that was not worth it. We're safe here, though. The, the bombs are really the... Well, bombs and daddy long legs are carrying this. It would, it would help if I didn't miss with so many of my shots as well. Do we have bloody lust or something? Like, maybe bloody lust is the, the saving grace, damage-wise. But that's a fallacy, you know? We don't want to um, fall into the belief that every run that we reroll is going to be balanced. Sometimes you can just get a shit draw. And I think we kind of have gotten a shit draw here, but we're making the best of it at least. Shielded Tear is a little bit of a double-edged sword right now. I'm having a hell of a time actually killing this motherfucker, but there we go. We're going to just make sure to use the Yarrow Rune. It would be terrible if we forgot to do that. And then we're going to get eight items right here. Curse of the Unknown, we will, we will not know what our HP is in a way that's kind of freeing. Okay, Monstro's Lung, Fat Odd Mushroom, sign me up. Monstro's Lung, Game Kid. Monstro's Lung, Nearsighted Friend. Monstro's Lung, Experimental Technique. Monstro's Lung, Lifesteal. Monstro's Lung, the, the Tar Item. Monstro's Lung, Distant Admiration. Look, we didn't get carried, but we might have gotten some okay stuff here. I'm going to take Experimental Treatment. Let's let's take one shot as like a baseline. Okay. I've always said, I mean those seem better. I've always said um well not always but ever since I've known more likely oh my god this damage. Ever since I've known more accurately what experimental treatment actually does, I think it's an item you only take if you're in a shit position. Because if you're in a good position, it could put you in a shit position. If you're in a shit position, it could only put you in a shittier position, which is shitty, but you were already shit out of luck anyway. So we might as well try to reroll a, a shit run into like an okay, or shit stats into okay stats. Now, without knowing our HP, this is like not very good. But uh, we can always, you know, roll Satanic Bible for now and then take the. Um, some other item into our actual boss fight. This is where we're probably going to want to use a bomb. Just to slow these guys down a little bit. Good enough. Good enough. Not good enough. Good enough. Okay, we're just going to stand very, very still momentarily. There we go. Good. Good. Do we have chocolate milk as well? Like, is it possible if I just hold the charge even longer, it gets better? Nope. No, nope, that does not. I mean, that would be the kind of thing that you would hate to figure out this late in a run. But I would love to still win, so, you know, there's there's some selfishness there. Are you telling me my shielded tears with Monstro's Lung somehow phase entirely around those three shots from Greed there? I find that a little hard to believe, to be honest with you. That time I didn't even shoot. Why bother, I guess? Okay, Lust. For once I've killed you last, show me why it's worth it. You give me a pill or something? Yeah. Bad trip. Okay, so we can actually cheat the system now by using bad trip and seeing when it turns into full health to let us know when we're getting close to uh, to dying. Plus, we'll get a full health pill out of it, which is pretty solid. 
We are in such a fucked up position here, by the way. This is like the least damage. This is like what I would expect to be doing with Monstro as long after getting it on like the first floor item room. Which is not fair. That's why I threw in what I'd expect to be doing, because it seems to be incorrect. <laughs> I wonder if like our shielded tears... I should probably pick that up, huh? I wonder if our shielded tears run into each other with Cricket's body, and then that's why they're so destroyed. I know we're using bombs on these enemies instead of using them on the boss fight, but, you know, I'm from step one, just got to ensure that we actually make it to the boss fight to begin with. That bomb is a waste. It, it's tedious, right? You know, this is not my favorite rebirth run that I've ever done. I would like to keep the streak going because it would be, I mean, it's only a one, but it's really funny if we beat the game as the Lost and then Lost as Kane. It's a fairly clutch dodge there. Ooh. And you know, like, actually our best item right here is like Attack Fly, basically. So we can do the classic, you know, Northern Lion Desperation Maneuver. We can go back when we find the boss room, assuming Satanic Bible, well, we'll have used it either way. And then um, go get uh, either Game Kid or probably Book of Shadows because it lasts longer. Two of Di oh, yeah, two Two of Diamonds cards when we already had 99 cents. Um, yeah, go get uh, Gogurt's uh, that Book of Shadows. And then that gives us like 15, maybe 10 seconds of invincibility where we can just like chew him up with the attack fly. Mind you, the attack fly is not a, a whole hell of a lot of damage for late game bosses, but... It's better than what we're doing, sadly. If we win this, I will be proud of it, but proud, like, in the same way that, you know, you're proud that you, like, worked really hard at a job you didn't like, I guess. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I worked really hard this year. I take pride in my dedication, but, man, I'm like, I would have traded that for a lot of other things. Might as well use Book of, uh, or Satanic Bible right now. Like, the attack fly is really... If there's one skill, like, if you're... Sometimes I see on the subreddit, people will be like, I can't beat Mom, do you have any tips? And, like, or like I can't beat the caves, do you have any tips? And the only tip there, and this sounds snarky, but for real, is practice. Like, you just gotta learn how to dodge the early game enemies. Otherwise, you're, like, that's the that's how you beat the early game. If you're, like, an intermediate level player and you want some stuff to work on, not that I'm much beyond an intermediate level player, but learning how to use those uh, orbitals has actually saved my ass on so many occasions. This room is bullshit, by the way. But if we have to use bad trip here, I will be happy to have had the privilege to have gotten a bad trip pill to keep me alive in a situation where I probably should not have been kept alive. Oh my god, double... Oh my god! Double cage room! Fuck you, double cage room! Fuck you! Look at the homing shots from these cages, it's out of control! They got more hits than Nicolas Cage. That's not that hard anymore, I guess. They got more hits than Cage the Elephant. Okay, one of you is actually about to die. Clutch save. Wow, we lived. Now we have no idea how much HP we have, but we did just pick up Magic Mushroom. Uh, Magic Mushroom, incredibly good for a number of different reasons. Holy shit, does the damage multiplier from Magic Mushroom actually give us enough so that our damage is not shit anymore? Might as well take it. Um, if, if that is the case, Magic Mushroom has saved us. It's actually, like, pretty solid damage now. Okay. Magic Mushroom, by the way, I've come to accept not all stats upgrades, or sorry, not all all stats upgrades are created equal. Magic Mush uh, carries a damage multiplier that I think is equivalent to Cricket's Head, which makes it absurdly good. It gives you, like, plus 1.5 times damage. Or times 1.5 damage, but... Okay, Charm Tears, Scapular. We're never gonna get to a half-heart interval because of uh, Maggie's bow, but... I don't know, maybe if we get, like, half a Spirit Heart... Somehow? Um, with Cricket's body, I think just the sheer volume of Tears we're firing makes that one damage upgrade count for so much more. Or that one damage multiplier count for so much more. I think we might have just gotten carried. Thank you, Magic Mushroom. I appreciate that a great deal. I, I don't know how to express my gratitude fully because it's just so ridiculous. We're also charging our shot very quickly now, even though I did just botch that one. 
Not quite one-shotting the Widow. I mean, that's a pretty good indicator of, like, doing decent damage on the chest is one-shotting the Widow. Probably the enemy that you fight on the woo or on the chest with the least amount of damage, but least amount of HP, I should say. Oh, okay. Scorpio for Poison Tears and Judas the Shadow in case we die will come back as Judas with even more damage. I think we might have gotten, like, carried as shit at the end there. Oh, trademark Northern Lion luck. Did you watch this run? I struggled for, like, the past over an hour. We gotta take Book of Shadows. As much as I would like to, uh, oh, I shouldn't have come into this room, but we might get a spirit art out of it. Um, as much as I would like to not backtrack because I do dumb shit like this and walk myself into a room I haven't actually fought and take damage, we've gotta backtrack because Book of Shadows gives us a mo and also Monster Manuel. Well, what's better, Monster Manuel or no? Unless we got like the greatest item of all time, and Sister Maggie is not the greatest item of all time. We want to come back, you might say Game Kid for the extra HP, but I think Book of uh, Shadows is better because it stays alive longer. Uh, yeah, sure, you know, we could uh, if we wanted to roll with the scissors. I don't think the scissors is very good, though. Let's do it. Do we have Book of Shadows ready? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we'll just use Game Kid. We could charge Book of Shadows, but I don't want to risk taking damage. I forgot that, like, Book of Shadows, right, I used it on Isaac, so I don't have it ready to go. Now, let's get to full HP, if we were not already. Full HP. We must be at full HP. Let's check. Oh, that's our last bomb. And that's not our secret room. Alright, so I'm just going to dump in some damage here right away. If we're going to use Book of uh, Shadows, what we probably would have wanted to do is uh, use it right away. Do damage, you know, get some confidence. But since we're using Game Kid, what we're going to want to do is wait until we've taken a little damage. Not sure how much more we can take. We could probably use it right away. Take a little damage so that we can earn at least like 1 HP back in the process. Okay, we're almost out of invincibility. We probably gained 1 HP there. I think we're about to win. Well, it's no one is more surprised by this theoretical win than me. So it's a win that should not exist. But here we are. We did it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.